Welcome back to another I know it in another episode. And today again, stamp and layout for the new world. If you missed it, we already started the new world in the last episode with the fried plantain. Today we're going to focus on the rum and of course all of the other production linked to it like the sugar cane, including in the hacienda. Also, by the way, if you missed it, I have posted on my Discord community one zip file that you can download to get all of the old world stamp in one click. And of course, I will do the same for the new world one once we're done. But of course, you also don't have to wait if you want to just get all of the ones for the rum of the fried plantain. They are also already available on my Discord community. OK, let's dive right in. And as always, the first is just a basic production, right? It is the minimum production to start going. We'll have one number jacket, two sugarcane plantations and two rum distilleries. In the middle, of course, as always, also a warehouse and a fire station because you may not have the police station at that point in the game. And with this, we're going to produce four rum per minute with the perfect ratio, right? Four out of four for the sugar cane and four out of four for the wood. So yeah, very basic, simple. Don't hesitate if you have any question, but let's move right away into a more advanced. And by the way, in the end of the episode, we'll also cover perfect items. With this second stamp, we still don't have a trade union, but we're a bit more advanced. We have, for example, the police station on top of the fire station. We also have more, right? With this, we're going to produce double. We're going to produce eight with a perfect ratio, meaning basically we've doubled each of the buildings. So we have two of those lumber jack huts. We have four of these rum distilleries and four of these sugar canes. They're all at 128. And you can see this is almost a rectangle. Of course, you do need, you know, the space for the lumber jack hut to have an available area of 100%. Right? So that's why they're on the side. But yeah, this is almost basically a rectangle. It does take me time to prepare all of this and I do think it looks pretty good. So don't hesitate to smash like button. Don't wait for the end of the episode. But without further ado, let's move into trade union. The first one is a combined trade union, right? We have everything into this one trade union. Over here, we see the trade union in the middle. That's covering both the rum distilleries and also the sugar cane plantation. It will be a lot harder to cover also the wood, but you can definitely put the wood, for example, over here at the bottom. You know, this would probably be the entrance of uh, this um, layout because we would have all of the farms going this way. But yeah, you can put the wood there if you want. Or if you want, you can also delete some of those farms and put the wood instead because I have given to all of those farms, all of the tractors and fertilizer silos. So we're actually producing ton. You know, there is no items right now into this trade union and we're already producing 80 of the sugarcane with just six plantations and we have 12 rum distilleries. So, of course, that is 24 because there's no items or working condition. But with a few items, you'll easily get to more than 50 or even 100 for the rum, right? Particularly if you give electricity, that will already double it. We also have, by the way, fire station and police station coverage into it and you have some warehouses depending on the items you have you'll probably need to upgrade those warehouses quite a bit or you can add a few more but yeah i wanted to show you a combined train union layout i think it looks pretty good let's move into the dedicated train union first for those sugar cane similar to the banana that one that i showed you last time we have a basic one without tractors or silos if you want right with this you have 40 sugar cane plantation which is 80 without any items or working conditions as always. But this can easily jump to something like 200 without any problems. We also have a lot more warehouses already, police station, fire station. So all this is covered. And of course, you can also upgrade the same one to have silos and uh, tractors. But it's even better to move into the Hacienda farms. Right? We can have the Hacienda farms into a very compact layout like this. Okay, this one, I'm not going to lie, you definitely need to upgrade, you know, those uh, warehouses where it's never going to work. But yeah, we have the warehouses, we have the police station, fire station. Of course, this needs to be in the range of your Hacienda. But remember that now the Hacienda range can go quite far, so it shouldn't be a problem. And you don't have that many. So in terms of farmers, it's not going to be a lot. But look at this production. Without any items or working condition, we're already at more than 200. So with a few items and working condition, you'll get, you know, to 300, 400, no problem. I'll show you some items just after, as promised. So it is, ladies and gentlemen, a very compact and cool layout, in my opinion. Of course, as always, the stamp will be 
uh, on my Discord community. If you are not on my Discord community, just look at the video description below. You will have a link to join. Then a dedicated trade union for your basic rum distilleries. They are actually quite big, so you don't fit that many into one. We're actually talking about only about 20 rum distilleries. But you know, if you put electricity, if you put a couple of items working condition, this will get you to 100 of rum per minute. Uh, and that's probably all you'll ever need. But if you want to do even better, you can do the trade union for the Hacienda breweries, right? And by the way, this is also a layout that will work for all of your Hacienda you know, buildings because they're all the same size. They're actually smaller. In this case, instead of 20, we're going to be able to fit 31. So it's definitely better. And with this, definitely you can reach uh, above 100 easily. Just give electricity and you're there. So it is, ladies and gentlemen, seven perfect layouts and stamps from basic to super advanced for the RUM production. Don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below if there's a particular layout for this production that you feel I'm missing. I can always add it to my Discord community. But more importantly, let's look a bit at items. The items that we use for the banana actually don't work over here. We don't have you know, the horticulturalist and the arborist. Instead, we have a couple of other items that are still quite good. For example, we have over here Mrs. Brown. She's going to increase a bit of productivity, but more importantly, she's going to give us a lot of cacao, caoutchouc and cotton. It is a lot, but to be honest, it's also probably not enough for what you need. So in my opinion, actually, what I prefer to do for sugar cake plantation is to go the opposite way to go more into full productivity. First with the Mariculous steel plow and the patent steel seed drill that we saw before. So we're increasing the productivity by a lot, but we're also decreasing the workforce to zero so we can increase the working condition to the max, right? And on top of that, you add Ferras again, you know, plus 50% productivity as if you need your grade one. That is my suggestion. Take it or leave it. For the RAM distillery, if you don't have access to electricity, then make sure that you give Angela. She's going to give you that electricity plus reduce a bit the workforce. So that's definitely a good one. But if you can produce electricity and just give it yourself, that's even better, right? So you don't need that item. Now talking about workforce needed, this is maybe what you want to focus your item on. Try to get to zero so that you can increase the working condition, have no fire, no riots. So if you have put Angela, you're at minus 20, then you can add the extremely loud bell to have 50% also, so you're at minus 70 already. And then potentially you can have the printing press if you have the Anarchist DLC, that's minus 40. So you're at zero workforce already. Another route is to try to increase uh, you know, the productivity as much as possible. So of course you would put Ferras, this is plus 50. You will also put probably Miss Ellis, she's also at plus 50. And then finally the sommelier is at plus 40. So with this, you know, you've increased the working condition by a lot. So it is, ladies and gents, the rum production from basic to advanced, including the Hacienda buildings. Don't hesitate again to tell me in the comments if there is one that you feel I'm missing. I can always add it to my Discord community. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see the next episodes. And I hope to see you next time.